I do hope he decides to help us, especially since we will not be able to escape. The infirmary would be awfully lonely without the murderous fluffy dick around. No! Screw that! Just hire a better, less evil doctor. Miss Barry, you're a fucking idiot, you know that? We've got company. Ah, oh, damn, I thought it might be the evil king, but it's not. It's just some barely visible pigeons. Can you, the audience, see those pigeons? They are there on the screen. Can you see them? Or has YouTube made it too dark for you to see? I don't know. Greetings, travelers. No, 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 we don't want any. We don't want any. No, no, we're leaving now. We, I don't want any. I gotta, I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. No one likes a host who tries to lock you in their house and make you stay forever. I can barely see any of them. You should all try talking to the king too. Only a tyrant would want to stop visitors from leaving, right? Oh, thank God we got rid of those guys. Have you all been here with that king forever? No. No, we don't. The king's a wanker. Nah, screw that guy. We are the same as you. I don't care. Can we go? Can we go? Who is calling me? At no, I'm busy. No, it's probably a spam number, honestly. No, too bad. I'm recording. I'm in the middle of something. Ugh. You must have been the same. We were very afraid and we came here. And then the king ate our souls because he's evil. Afraid? Nagaki and, and I had a nice time coming here on a comfortable train with a friendly conductor. What the hell happened to you guys? I mean, I guess you guys have homes to return to, right? I don't think you understand how long we've been dead. Why are you staying here? Because we do not have to worry about anything. Because there's nothing scary here. Except that music. The king said... The king is all, and all are the king. Nagaki, we gotta go. We can't stick around. Soon you guests from away will be the king too. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go, man. No, I don't want what you're selling. I gotta go. So there is nothing scary here. Everyone is together. Let's be together is this a weird sex thing what 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 no what no no i'm trying to i'm trying to you ruined it thanks thanks a lot kid you ruined it you ruined it i was trying to be weird and creepy but you know what you you had to make it a sex thing didn't you well thanks a lot thanks a lot my whole thing i don't care go i don't care i don't want to be here anymore the king is waiting on his royal throne, but the king... Oh god. Oh god, is that Nagaki? Oh no. Oh no, I went to high school with that guy. Oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go. The king does not want to be friends with that morning dove. You don't have to come. You can get lost. Wow! You're a dick, king! That's not very nice. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. What a prick! The king commanded, you shall stay away. What a prick. What a prick. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, I love that image of like, the king is being like an evil dick, but, but, he was probably doing it in his spare time. He was a little busy changing, so he thought, you know what I'm gonna do? Look, look, I need like, 15 whole minutes to choose my, you know, royal underwear. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes just, you know, freaking out the guests. Freaking out the guests, because, you know, that's my thing. That's my thing. I love freaking out the guests. He's a bit of a crybaby. I'm glad you, I'm glad you agree with me, Nagaki. What a wuss, am I right? I don't think scaring him is very hard. I do wonder, though, why is he so afraid of Nagaki? Nagaki, are you the new ghost king? I bet you're the new Ghost King. The Migrant said something about that too, didn't he? I don't remember, honestly. It's been like a whole day since I played this last. Maybe you're the King's natural enemy. Maybe you're the anti-spiral. 
Let's hope so. And... Those vague citizens turned into the king and disappeared. If what they said is true... Perhaps it's a weird cult thing. I thought we already established that. Perhaps everyone who stays here ends up turning into the king. That's awesome. We can all be kings. No, that's not, that's not what I'm talking about. Like, at all. It's a bad idea. At least it sounds like he's waiting for us. We've got to find the others and teach them a thing or two about international travel law. What? What? Not much riding in the decor here. I must see I'm getting a little sick of it. I wonder how things are going on the roof. I can probably trust Mr. Wine. Oh, wait, no, I'm, s I'm supposed to be Danny, De Danny DeVito right now. I'm sorry. I can probably trust Mr. Wan. Leon, rather to keep my body from spontaneously combusting or something stupid like that. Why would your body spontaneously combust? I don't, I don't need to know. That artistic scientist fellow's probably cleared the clouds away, but the king of this place blocked the moonlight. A search and rescue mission in a zone of total surrealism, eh? I didn't do so well in art class, but I do remember the Dadaisms and all, and all those fun words. This is new even to me. I'm used to just exploding everything. The decorated picture book. Once there was a beautiful piano. Bought for about $100 on eBay. The person who sold it wasn't very smart, honestly. The piano was decorated with gemstones in all the colors of the rainbow. Hey, remember all the gemstones we got in the last part? You don't remember that? Ah, it's probably nothing. I'm sure they will not be relevant later on. Oh, how it sparkled and glistened. Everyone told it was beautiful. What a beautiful piano. No one had ever seen such a wonderful piano. But then we took all the gemstones and the piano was forced to realize that it was really just a pretty boring piano, honestly. The piano's owner was very pleased and decorated the piano even more. And then one day, all the all the weight of all the gems just made the piano fall apart. It was hardcore. Everyone in all the land praised the piano's beauty. No one, from anywhere, wanted to hear its voice. Ah, that's more... Oh my... That's, okay, I made that joke, but that's actually what happened. But the gemstones were heavy, so heavy, and one day they crushed the piano flat. Poor piano. Poor piano. Is there no limits to its vulgarity? The composition is poor, the story juvenile, and the art messy. I open the door to find a fan tail angrily beating a book on the door. Salutations, Akoya. I'm glad to see you're still yourself. Oh, no. Oh, not yet. Oh, ugh. Ugh, filthy commoners getting all up in my dreams. Ugh. Is there no getting rid of you? What now? The tea party's already over. Is it? Oh no, how terrible, I guess. Oh, whatever will I do? Oh. <laughs> I was really looking forward to drinking some of your tea, too. I wouldn't have given you anything, even if you had showed up on time. Well, you're a wanker, aren't you? Don't get full of yourself, mongrel. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting full of myself. I'm getting full of myself. I'll be expecting an invitation card next time, too. This guy, I swear to God, what a dick. Look at him. Sequoia sticks his beak in the air and coos irritably. You know what? You're irritating me. By the way, what were you reading just now? I pick up the book which Sequoia had thrown on the floor. I haven't even the slightest. Honestly, it's quite wank. Do you remember what you found it? Do not treat me like a child, you commoner. The king gave it to me. I hate to burst your bubble, but the king? Think the king's not the greatest guy around, you know. I do not mean to insult a gift of royalty, but that thing is amazing. It's like the scribbles of a deranged child. You in the audience. Doesn't this guy remind you of a deranged child? I like to think my brother's a bit of a deranged child, honestly. A picture book, eh? So, this is a little flirtation from the king. Oh, is that what the king's into? Huh. You know, I don't, I don't really want I don't, I don't really want to know, you know. If the king's into Sequoia, that's none of my business. Or rather, an invitation to stay here. 
I suppose it's meant to paint reality in a poor light, to flatter the world of dreams. Alas, its message appears to have been lost on Sequoia. Something is wrong with someone who dresses a musical instrument up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> instruments come with their own beauty already built in. Gordiness is hardly the deciding factor in an instrument's value. Indeed, an instrument covered in sparkly gorgons to impress uncultured fools is the epitome of crossness. I don't know if you and the audience or Sequoia here have noticed, but clearly the piano is a metaphor. Clearly the idea of metaphors is lost on my brother. Decorating an instrument to the detriment of his turn is just absurd, ludicrous. If the author of this drivel were here now, I would sit him down and lecture him for three days without break. I could give him a lecture for three days straight on, you know, the nature of a metaphor. And clearly the metaphor is supposed to be for my brother. But, you know, clearly my brother is not, is not the wisest guy around. He... Ah... <laughs> uh. Clearly, we didn't have, you know, the greatest of childhoods, but I remember growing up, man. I used to pull the dumbest shit on him. This guy, this guy will fall for anything, honestly. It's funny. I'm gonna record it and put it on YouTube. He continues on, angrily expounding the qualities of the musical timbre. I wonder if he realizes just how much he cares about music. As his brother, I can only hope to see the magnificent blooming of that enthusiasm one day. Maybe one day, you know, he'll become a prog rock ins he'll, uh, he'll get into prog rock or, uh, or thrash metal or something. Thrash metal? What are you on about? That's a made up and stupid genre. Anyone who listens to thrash metal is some kind of peasant. Yes, but that's the idea, you fool. It's about upsetting the establishment. Hey, fool, I am the establishment. Shut up. Very true, visual flair is hardly what an instrument is there for. The piano in here should have used his voice to let everyone know that before he got crushed. I wasn't created to be decorated. Let me sing! Something like that. Why are you smirking like that? Are you kidding? I can't smirk at all. I have a beak. Beaks are not great for making facial expressions. What a distasteful cretin you are. And honestly, you are so thick, if I stuck a spoon in you to stir you, it wouldn't go anywhere. It'd be like McDonald's thick shake. I love... Sorry, that's... Sorry, that's me. I apologize. I love how thick-headed you are, Sequoia. It'll save me a lot of trouble. Whoa! I'm going to tell Daddy on you. Do you mock me? Oh, oh really hard, honestly. That was praise. I'm doubted. Your ridiculous facial expression is proof of your deceit. Oh, forgive me. I was born with it. What am I to do? Now then, I cannot spend too much time here. I doubt whoever I ran into next will be as easy as you, after all. I knew you didn't wander in here by chance. Tell me what is happening. I'm drawing so many dicks on your face right now as we speak. Aww. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're always good at keeping things moving. Thanks, Sequoia. Look how easy you made it for me. What? You do not just? It's hard to believe, but unfortunately, it is true. You and I are hooked together with a whole pile of electrical wires right now. Ew! Ew! I do not want to be wired up to a person like you. Ew, 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 that's great. It's just electrical wires. Get over yourself. You can't without my permission. Well, you weren't exactly being responsive. That doesn't make the situation sound any better. Did you roofie me up there? Ew, ew, what the hell, man? It is an emergency anyway. Easier to ask forgiveness and approval, right? That doesn't work in every situation, you cretin! Now then, Sequoia, will you spend eternity having tea here with that cheerful, artistically challenged king? Inconceivable, I will not stand for it. We defeated the king with the power of Sequoia's pride and wankery. Just who do you think I am? I am Shirogani Sequoia Lombard. 
It is completely out of the question. I demand to see that man responsible for this idiocy at once. I shall have recompense for his gross discourtesy towards me. Sequoia runs off into the darkness, an aura of unusual proactivity around him. Look, clearly I'm on the other side of this story right now, but, you know, I really wish everyone would stop running off on their own like that. No one gets the better of my little brother. Now then, who's next? Whew. 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 Man, putting on, like, Yuya's voice for a whole thing that actually is quite exhausting. Whew.